the planes and the team leader here in the, in the planes. We have the hippos just alongside the rhinos here and then across the, the way we have giraffe, zebra, oryx and ostrich. And then if you continue further on up, it's the chimpanzees, white nape mangabees around the other side and hornbills, um, African hunting dogs, lions, red river hogs and bongo. Uh, a typical day's work, there's no such thing. Every day is different, but uh, in general, you'll come in in the morning and you'll start off by cleaning out enclosures, getting exhibits ready, um, and then throughout the day, you would be dealing with visitors, dealing with the, the rest of the team. Um, so for me, there's never really a typical day. Yeah, you never know what's going to happen on a day-to-day -day basis, and in general, it's very rewarding, very challenging, and um, you're always on your toes. And um, you're looking at the southern white rhino here, um, and if you look at their face, if one of them turns around, they've got quite a wide mouth and that's where the word white rhino comes from. It's um, a misnomer for white, which is the Afrikaans word for wide. Um, the rhino is a surprisingly fast runner. Um, you look at the size and think, no, it's not possible. But, and they can also do a pirouette, which means they can be standing in one direction one minute and do a complete turnaround to be facing the opposite direction in one easy movement. So they're actually very agile. And they're actually quite quiet when they're moving around as well. If anything, the most noise they make is when they're grazing outside. You can hear them pulling the grass. And they've no front teeth. It's just um, they use the, the lips to pull up the grass and then they uh, pass the grass down to the, the back molars and they'll crunch it up and send it on down to the digestive system. guys here are called Gila monsters. Now they're called Gila monsters because they come from Arizona, from the Gila Valley. And they're very, very small at the moment. These are only little babies. They get about twice, three times that size. So these guys are reptiles. So they will eat meat and then they'll just sleep it off for a couple of days. In Arizona where they live, they would dig in the soil for insects, for crickets and things like that. Here in the zoo, what they get are baby mice called pinkies. And they'll eat maybe about 10 of them at a sitting. And so when, when they've eaten all that, they're really, really full. You know on Christmas Day when you're completely full? Yeah. You've eaten yeah. your big Christmas dinner. That's what these guys feel like then. They're really, really full. So this is an Indian green stick insect. The reason why it gets its name stick insect because when they get frightened or when they're hiding, they camouflage themselves as sticks. Now, do you want to try hold one? No. Like, are they very, like, fast movers or something? They, yeah, so they, they, it's strange, but the, the younger they are, the faster they move for some reason. Like Do you want to try hold them? Okay. Oh, oh, what's their texture? Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Oh you don't God. like it? <laughs> no, not really. Oh, yeah. God! <laughs> <laughs> so these are called Madagascar hissing cockroaches. And they're called hissing cockroaches because they hiss. That's why they're called hissing cockroaches. Mm -hmm. They have a defense which allows them to sound like a snake. So how they hiss? They don't actually hiss from their mouth. They hiss from the... Did they do the from, from their abdomen, exactly. What they do is they release air out through holes in their abdomen. And that's what creates the hissing sound. Could they camouflage like... Yeah, they camouflage yeah. very well. Because you've got to remember, these guys are rainforest animals. And in the rainforest, it can get quite dark. So that's why they're darkly coloured and they live in amongst the trees. So this one is another stick insect, well, another phasmid, which she, you'll see her now, she's completely different. So she is called a Maclay, Maclay Scepter stick insect. Now you can see she looks completely different because she's supposed to be camouflaging as a completely different type of thing. She's camouflages to look like the dead leaves of a eucalyptus tree. And you find her in Australia and in New Zealand.